Hi, it's Dan here, and today I'm just talking a little bit about how to increase focus. It's Friday evening, I've finished all my client appointments for the week, I'm not working tomorrow because it's my daughter's 10th birthday, so I'm really looking forward to that. Um, yet, as I've tried to get back into that routine of the start of the new year, getting the kids back to school, getting up on time, getting here, seeing clients, um, getting back into that routine, you know, I want to put some things in place now that are going to allow me to increase my focus so that I know I'll get the stuff done that I want to get done this year. Year, yeah, which is quite a lot of stuff. Um, it's got some great stuff coming up. So the first thing I'm doing is at the end of every week, I'm reintroducing my end of week review. Now this is a moment that gives me a chance to reflect on what I've achieved that week, as well as what I want to focus on to improve into the next week. So it really gives that kind of punctuation point a chance to kind of improve and to take stock and to evaluate. Um, the way I do it is at the end of every week, I think back on three things that I'm really pleased with that week. So for example, in this week that's just gone, I've had a client uh, who used to have anxiety and panic attacks, who hadn't left his house for a month, who's you know, now gone down to London to a packed out event, absolutely calm, confident, and enjoyed every moment. Um, another one is I heard from a client uh, who was smoking up until Christmas, came to see me, and now is in her third week as a non-smoker. So, you know, a brilliant result. Um, I'm really pleased about the fact that I got a video done the other day. I've been meaning to get around to video. Um, so I did my Happy New Year video. If you haven't seen it, check it out. You know, I'll put a link below. Um, and the other thing that I'm really pleased with is, you know, back-to-back -back boot camps, getting back into it. I love my exercise. It's really good for my mental health, my physical well-being, so I'm really pleased with that. So having reviewed you know, at least three things that have gone well that week, the next bit that I do is to think of one thing that I want to work on or improve in the following week. Um, for me, it's also the second thing that I'm doing to increase the focus, which is getting back into the habit of, at the end of every day, before I leave the office, I need to have written down what I'm going to be doing the next morning so that when I get into the office the next day, I can just get on with it. So getting that habit back in, making it a ritual, the end of every day, I've written down what I'm gonna be doing as soon as I get in the office, which means that I can just get straight on with it without faffing around, without getting lost in looking at links on Facebook, without any of those things, I know exactly what I'm doing. Brilliant for focus, if you don't already do it, I would suggest implementing that. The third thing that I'm doing, uh, and again, I think is really important, is making sure that that I get enough sleep. Essentially, a lot of us treat sleep like it's a, a bit of a sponge, like we can cut out bits of it and squeeze it and squeeze it and squeeze it to less and less, like it, you know, like it's a luxury if you like. Yet, getting enough sleep is massively important for our, our mental and physical well-being. It's a chance for our brain to recharge, to file away all the stuff from the day, so that we wake up the next day energized, refreshed. And certainly, it's something I found this week as I've tried to get back into that routine. I've been had a couple of weeks off, getting up a bit later, going to bed a bit later this week I found myself you know in the office sometimes just feeling a little bit drained and tired and that's meant I've lacked a bit of focus and concentration so I'm certainly getting back on top of that getting back into that evening routine so that I can get up in the morning and get more stuff done every day um, so if you're looking to increase focus then you know why not join me in doing these activities um, Looking back at the end of every week, three things that went well, one thing you can do better next week so that you can go away, plan it and do it. Um, secondly, at the end of every day, already have written down, really know, have, where, you know wherever you write that, whether you put it on your phone, in your diary like me, have it there so that you know the next day exactly what you're getting on with. You don't have to make any decisions, you don't have to do anything else except actually get that thing done you know, and make sure it's something that's worth doing, something that's important to you, something that'll move you forward on your goals. And then thirdly, really do prioritise sleep. You know, like I say, you really do need to get a good night's sleep so that you can function well, which means you get more done, which means you feel better, which means you'll have even more of those good moments to look back on at the end of every week. That's what I'll be doing. I hope you'll join me in this journey. I'd love to know how you get on with these things, and I will speak to you soon. Take care now.